What's up guys, it's midnight on Saturday, so all the racers should be finishing from now until, Crazy. <laughs> from now until sometime, I don't know. When, when will they stop finishing? Probably. Like midday tomorrow, or today, technically? Today. So yeah, we're still at the campsite, we're about to head down to the race course. We know of family Overall winners are up there. Can't really see them. We are in like the conference room now, just sitting watching the race via the map. Uh, everyone's at. We had another dirt bike just come in. And finish. It's nice and warm in here, and it's pretty chill. There's free Wi-Fi. So, yeah. First quad just came in. It's right over there. It's around like two in the morning or something like that. It's 50 degrees out here, pretty cold for us California kids. But uh, good times out here in Baja. Mexico. They're loving it in their home country. Fourth bike. This is the. The team of Mark Winkle and Royal 1S. Here he comes. Rob McCacker the first one to finish in a trophy truck. So Rob McCacker. Rockstar so Makita. Overall trophy truck. Nothing more. One more rider coming in. So we're hoping everything's good there. Some people coming in. Made it, and here we got a trophy truck rolling in. Wow, that thing is bright. Finish the Baja 1000. <laughs> Lost a little bit of his back fender. Trophy truck rolling in. Dude, that's Team RPG. Man, he was close. They were really close. Front end looks like it's a little bit of a hit. Took like a hit back there as well. Oh my gosh, I have a branch dragon right here. Wow. <laughs> the McMillan team. Truck is looking good. Okay, so I just snuck inside the VIP area, like where all the trophy trucks are at, and like where everyone's finishing and announcers. Anyone who's important in the Baja 1000, I guess. So, so basically, I just hope no one knows me. Dana right there on the Dust of Glory too. So the trucks are looking still pretty good after the 850 mile course. So yeah, and I'm just looking at all the cars, all the trucks that have already finished the race. And uh, waiting for more to come in. These are all the ones that are on the other side of the finish line that haven't been interviewed yet and all that stuff. They already, they already have been interviewed. All the teams just relaxing finally after that crazy race. Love being there. And a motorcycle rider just came in. Just crossed the line. Just finished the race. Big smile. 
Truck appears to be in pretty good shape. That'll wake anybody up. And another trophy truck coming in. Billy Wilson. There's truly GoPros everywhere, all over these trucks and cars and motorcycles. They're mounted everywhere. And there's a guy from the film Dust of Glory, one of the film crew guys, just comes around and gathers all of them, throws them in a big bag. It's gonna be a lot of footage to go through. Another bike just rolled in. It's a little bit brighter out now. The vibes are still good. Oh my gosh, you let dust come off that guy. The vibes are still good. Everyone's still pumped, even though everyone's super tired. Oh, another. Another rider, quad just came in as well. So his truck's been through a lot, has no rear end on it basically. Okay, sorry if you guys can't hear me, it's super loud out here, but I'm gonna leave the VIP area and go ahead and head back to the campsite, have some pancakes or some breakfast, I'm not sure what I'll have exactly, hopefully pancakes. Okay, we made it back to the campsite. I cooked us up some pancakes for everybody. Put a little bit of jam on mine, a little bit of syrup. We're gonna chill out for a little bit, probably pack up the van, and then head back over to the races and watch the rest of the racers finish. Okay, we are now back at the start and the finish line. There it is, where they start, this is also where they finish. This trophy truck just pulled up, and that thing is jacked. All the fiberglass has been ripped off. And no front, no back. Some Viva La Mexico is going on up there. On the Mexico. The muffler even broke. That oil is duct taped on. There's the cops trophy truck. Just came in. These last few trophy trucks have just been so beat up. This is the first side by side to finish. It actually beat a lot of the trophy trucks. Number one right there. Okay, we stopped off at a little taco shop. And I got two tacos. <laughs> so, basically you say it's gonna be a good time. We're actually just gonna eat and head back home. Right. Just for the ease of things. We're not gonna go uh, camp another night and uh, unload and reload and do that whole thing. So we're gonna head home tonight. Out here with Rob, congratulations trophy truck. Right on. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, we're waiting at the border now. We've probably waited for about an hour. We're probably still another hour away. Um, how you feeling, Chad? Pretty good. Looking at all these trophy trucks on the way out is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We want to show those trophy trucks. Yeah. Check this out. We went past the McMillan's already. Trophy trucks everywhere. Wilson, Ali, what do you guys think? A long ride. It's a good ride. <laughs> How's the bus? It's much more comfortable in a car. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I've done a four hour in a car. It's not nearly as good as this. No. I agree. Lots of leg room. Yeah. Yeah. I should be back there. Yeah. Cool. So we're still at the border. Been here for about two hours and probably ten minutes, two hours and ten minutes somewhere around there. I like you spying a bunch of stuff and Chad's <laughs> talking him down, he's pretty ruthless. <laughs> uh, there's the crossing way I only got there. 10 left. You guys see it? There's the wall, that's I where... Do 15. The cross. 15? And he's trying to work a deal. All right. But... Yeah. That's okay. So, overall the trip was excellent. Really? Yeah. So much fun. Still trying to work deals out on blankets, I don't know. For how much? I don't, even think, I don't think she needs this, but. Anyways. Hey, it's been good. You want it? These two Broncos I followed in from Ensenada. Tailing them, they led the way. We got pretty lucky, but now our paths are being separated. We're so close to the border. This line is like insane. We're over three hours into it. Actually, females are. Yeah, so 
yeah. much fun. Thank you so much. Guys, we just made it back into California. Finally across the border, that took forever. Okay guys, we are back home now. We're just unloading the Westie. Overall, it was a super good trip, so much fun. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like these, uh, subscribe, I'll be uploading once a week. Thanks for watching. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family.